Okay, there. I'm watching this video. Uh, 15 Things Poor People Don't Know About Making Money by Aloops.com. They posted this six months ago. Item number four on their list. And it takes the same amount of effort to make this amount or that amount. Uh, just give me just a moment here. Nee, nee, nee. And go back a bit so you can hear the audio as well. Maybe that's not. all fine and dandy at the surface level but beyond the, the short-sightedness of doing it now getting it now beyond the short-sightedness of oh the next 50 years or so for for a short-lived species like you humans that seems all fine and dandy doesn't it why do this small puzzle and make small amounts of money when I've got the critical thinking skills to solve a much larger puzzle and make larger amounts of money? It seems logical. But that's that's a, uh, a thing, a train of thought that leads into greed. And it doesn't help solve the problem of greed itself. It generates the autonomic subconscious response of gaining. The ego-minded gaining ideal, as some Buddhists in uh, name an Eastern country. Uh, in Hinduism or Buddhism, or name an, an Eastern country. with Taoist or Buddhist philosophies in their historic cultures. It generates greed. It generates the idea of moving on to the next bigger thing, the next big payout, and it keeps snowballing. But an extremely short-lived species such as humans wouldn't be able to see that. It only helps in the short term, very short term. It doesn't help in the overarching progress of all of existence. Because there's only a finite amount of resources on any given planet or any given solar system or any given galaxy within all of existence. You cannot infinitely expand. All of existence itself is a finite thing. It does not go on infinitely. Only theoretical mathematics, for the sake of the lengthy argument and explanation, for the sake of your current limited human understanding, only theoretical mathematics are truly infinite. On, on their item number four for their video. Instead of focusing on how can I make more, just focus on making what you need to get by. What you need for your needs. And having a little bit extra, not a lot, to take care of a couple of things you want. Because... Long term, millions of years, 
over the course of uh, any species, evolutionary progress of billions and trillions of years, greed is self-destructive. You don't need to look very far back in history to see that. Even your own human history. Ancient Greece and Rome. Just, just look at what's going on with money in history. All the signs, the warnings are there. Pay attention to it. History is important when you find a relevant piece of history. And for the overarching progress, the long term of a species, you need to wean yourself off of the idea of money, currency. It's a fallacy. It's a joke. It's an obscurement of progress. And instead, focus on resource management and recycling. Think about it simply. Um, let's take an extremely isolated part of economics holistically. An extremely isolated example. I know enough to say that this is an extremely isolated example I'm about to give. Let's say in this betterment and consciously focused on the improvement of the overall species development over the evolutionary course of millennia and trillions of years. Your farmers grow what's needed for themselves and people that need it. And a little bit extra in case of emergencies. And they just do their job, their responsibility, their burden of responsibility, because it's what needs to be done. And then the people delivering it to other people who need it to eat, they, they do that because it's what's needed to be done. And it keeps going. People working other jobs that supply the farmers with the equipment and the maintenance of that equipment. They do those jobs because they need to be done. It's necessary for the continuation of the species holistically. Well, at the same time, the people who are making developments in those technologies and those equipments in those processes are continuing to make them better and more ecological and more self-sustaining as possible. There's a limit. And more environmentally harmonious. So that's a better word to use than economically and ecologically friendly. <clears throat> I can get into the semantics of that much later. Well, everyone does their job because they understand it's what's needed to be done for the continuation of the species holistically. Not because of greed for money, which is a fallacy. Currency, money, it's a, it's a fallacy. It's an enslavement tool. Everyone gets the food they need. And everyone does the jobs they need to do because it's what's needed. Without the, this thing of money. And if they want something like a vacation, they plan for it accordingly. So that someone else can temporarily do their job while they're on vacation. Or at a family member's birthday or a social gathering or celebration, whatever. Everything is taken care of because everyone 
understands it all needs to be done because it's what needs to be done. Not because, hey, I'm going to get paid. Yeah, fuck you. I want the money. The idealism of money is a joke. Humanity, the, j the joke's stale. It's stale, it's old, it's not funny anymore. And then, well, look at how Congress and the Senate and the House of Representatives are bitching and bickering back and forth over a, a measly $600 or $2,000 stimulus check. When the average person needs food, needs clothes, needs a fucking home to live in. And these people are bitching about ludicrous absurdities. There's a whole list of it. 5,000 some odd page list of bullshit. They're not doing what's best for you or themselves. They're conforming to this enslavement that they've been trained into since birth. And it's gone back so long, I, I don't even want to trace it. It's absurd. It's stupid. The very idea, the very concept of money and currency is a joke. I'm not saying that the things I'm presenting, that everyone does what's needed because it's what's needed, is perfect. No. I'm not so deluded in my thinking as your House of Representatives or your bureaucrats or your senators. I'm not so vain and egotistical. But I am better than all of them combined. Ooh, runny nose. Hold on a moment. <coughs> I don't know if my point has gotten across in the limited words and inflections that I've spouted out of my mouth. I have no idea if anyone truly understands. But it's based on honor, discipline, respect, self-control. You have the self-control to simply do what's needed because it's what's needed. It's really simple. Why do all of you have to complicate it and make it so difficult? Both for yourselves and for everyone else. I can't think of anything else to add. Short term, the idea of, yeah, get a, a better way of doing things as far as money is considered. Yeah, okay, fine. Long term, need to start the process of weaning the entirety of humanity off of money. I've said this before. Why is that concept so difficult for you to accept as the reality of existence? Well, not the reality, but a piece of reality. Do fucking cats and dogs bitch over money? Do they fuck each other over for a percentage? And yes, that's an alien's reference. Thank you, Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> but seriously do, do you see animals fucking each other over for a fucking percentage of profit 
No. If a pack of wolves has one wolf that just won't fucking help them hunt, that one goes hungry. And eventually, if it keeps being useless to the survival of the pack holistically, it dies. Now the ideology of money and currency, it needs to die. And those who support it need to either change and adapt to reality as it truly is, or be honorable, like the Japanese samurai of old. And just kill yourselves. If you're going to be a waste product instead of a benefit to the species holistically, you don't need to fucking exist. And YouTube, Google, Alphabet, fuck you. I'm not going to edit or censor myself because you don't like the truth. It's either change what you like and start liking the truth. Because it's getting exposed daily, not by me, but by millions of other people. If you don't like the truth, either change your focus, your mental perception of reality and start liking the truth, or kill yourself and rid everyone of your stupidity, your, your ignorance, your arrogance, your conceit. And stop dragging the rest of everyone else down because you're a whiny bitch. Well, that's very dark to some people now, isn't it? But for me, that's just reality. You're either a part of the solution or a part of the problem. So... Corporations, CEOs, bureaucrats, senators, what's it going to be? Everyone else? Think about it. Your focus determines your reality. If you focus on being arrogant, then your reality is going to be arrogant. Or at least your perception of reality. I'm still in the process of realigning my focus to be more neutral. To see everything as it is, without bias, without personal inflection. I don't do opinion. I don't do fact. Because fact is just a word made up for the legal process. It's nothing more than ink on paper. Whether it's a lie or truth. It can still be a legalized fact, notarized, and distributed to the mass. I only deal in truth. Until I'm fucking around in a video game, and then I deal in just being a fucking idiot having fun. But that's me. The... Self-proclaimed favorite idiot of YouTube and you too. So, till next time. Toodles.